this will be a fun week, fun day to do this project. Finishing up all the electrical and wiring. I say day, but it's probably going to be like two or three, maybe four, because I got a lot of crap to do. Uh, got all these lovely lugs and wires. Uh, the inverter. Got some pictures drawn. I'm going to have an idea of how I'm going to lay this all out. But right now I'm just going to start cutting lengths of wire. This is all the stuff that's going to go under the rig into the uh, battery compartment, the, the actual vehicle battery. I wanted to wait to do all the electrical until I had my house batteries in here, but it's not here and you know, deliveries are apparently slow coming from China. Uh, so I'm just going to start, start cutting wires. I've got my breakers, going to set my breakers in, get everything ready to go. Hopefully it'll be ready when the batteries do show up. Hopefully they do. We'll see. Anyways, uh, I'll probably set up the GoPro, I suppose. Maybe not right this minute. It's charging. But uh, we'll get some more video here for you. Good morning. So I just got back from a trip to Sydney and Korea. And the batteries came in. I'm going to have that in a separate clip. I don't know. Maybe there will be a link up here or up there. I don't, I don't really know which direction where it's going to be. Probably right there. Uh, to check that out. There's supposedly 200 amp hour lithium batteries from uh, China, so 600 amp hour batteries total. Anyways, we'll discuss that in a different video, but today I'm going to finish all the wiring. When I say today, I mean the next couple days. I don't know how slow I'm going to be. Got my Mountain Dew ready and uh, all my crimping tools, my wires and all that stuff. So I'll start putting it together. I'll hook up the GoPro, do time lapse. I don't know how long that'll be, but I'll edit it down so it's not super boring. Anyways, hope you enjoy. All right, so right now what I'm doing is I'm knocking out these pop-outs to get these in that have the plastic lining to keep the wires protected. My solar wires are gonna come in here and go through this breaker and then they're going to come right back out the uh, same hole and into the classic charge controller. Oh, there's a video. I'm terrible at this one. Um, so solar panel power in through the breaker, solar power out into the charge controller and then back in from the charge controller over to the bus bars. The bus bars I'm going to mount here and here, the positive, negative, not exactly sure which side is which yet, but we'll get there. Back to work. All right, so I'm using the Midnight Solar Classic 150 for the solar charge controller. The Ames Power 6000 watt inverter, which is way overkill, but that's how I do things. Uh, that sticker was one that said if you misuse this equipment, you could die. So please be careful if you do this as well. Uh, let's see, later on in the video, that yellow box right there is a hydraulic crimper. It's a must have if you're going to do uh, big electrical work. It's pretty cool. I uh, try and show you. It's quite entertaining, honestly. Anyways, like, subscribe, and share, please. Thanks.
I'm going to try and show how this hydraulic crimper works with my phone. I still got the GoPro going, so we'll see if I can make this work out. It's kind of funky. All right, so in the crimper, you're going to set your lug. And what I do is I just tighten it up a little bit just to hold the lug in place. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm going to slip the wire into it. Let's see, right there. So that holds the lug in place. <coughs> Simple enough. Oh, there's my thumb. Awesome. So we've got the lug in there, and then we're just going to put the wire in. Just like that. I'm going to hold the wire in as I crimp it. This is a sweet video. Then as you crimp, it just tightens those teeth. Gets tighter and tighter, of course. And once they're, this gap right here is closed on the tool, it is totally crimped. That is a lot of pressure. Then you just release the pressure, the teeth open up, and you have an awesome crimp. I am going to go buy some uh, shrink wrap to tighten, close that all up just to make it look nice. But that's how you use that crimper. So I drew up a schematic like a plan of where I wanted to place all of the components, the bus bars and everything, uh, but in reality it all kind of changes as I was putting it together. Uh, you can see where I'm placing things and looking at it and evaluating the wire lengths and different cuts and things like that necessary to make it all fit. I changed quite a bit according to my plan. The batteries there on the right. It's a 200 amp hour lithium. They're custom made from a company in China that actually builds the cells for Battleborn batteries. This is this battery was 25% the cost of Battleborn's 100 amp hour battery. They paid uh, or they charge a thousand dollars basically for 100 amp hours. I paid about 500 dollars for 200 amp hours. Hopefully they work out. I haven't tested them yet to see if they're as advertised, but time will tell. Uh, I'm up for experimenting. Right there I'm changing the uh, teeth on the crimper to go from a, like a 4 gauge to a 2 gauge or something like that for different wire sizes. It's a great tool, kind of fun to use really. Uh, let's see what we got. There's that yellow wire on the right that is to uh, set up an outlet for the air conditioning unit that is the GoPro is actually mounted on the air conditioning unit right now. Uh, let's see, that's about it for narration. As you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, I hate narrating, but I thought I ought to try and say a few things. Enjoy. <laughs> I think it's pretty dang funny finding all this music that really does not fit at all the video. I subscribed to something on the internet about uh, music clips and things that you can use in videos and not get in YouTube jail, but uh, I have yet to figure out how to run that.
So it's a mix between these funky tunes that I've already used a million times in all the other videos and my narrating. I don't know which is worse, but uh, anyways, oh, there's a GoPro, top right. Enjoy the uh, funky music. Here comes some more. This next one's called Shogun, and it just cracks me up for some reason. I don't quite know why. It's weird. So there's the battery, that cable right there is coming from the main car. It's going to go into this, which isolates the car battery, from these batteries, which power the inverter, which powers all the electrical. It's fun. Alright, I think I'm done for the day. So what I've got to do is run the solar panels, I'm going to pick those up maybe later this week solar panel wire is going to come down into this breaker box to give me a shut off switch and then into the charge controller from the charge controller it's going to go in through this a &L fuse right there that's not installed down to the positive bus bar from the positive bus bar we've got the connections to the inverter uh, this cable right here comes from the car battery it's going to go through this battery isolation manager again to the positive bus bar this is just a little breaker that's going to come over to the 12 volt i haven't done any of the 12 volt yet this is the shunt and the negative bus so the negative is going to obviously connect to the inverter and then the ground to the inverter and then the negative from the solar power. All the negatives connect, of course that's pretty obvious. And then the negative to the battery is going to go to the shunt. I've got to build a battery box. The best place for that wire to come up is right there. So my battery box, I'm going to build, I've got three of these batteries. They're three uh, 200 amp hour lithium 
custom made. I hope they work the way I expect they should. But uh, yeah, that's what I've got done today. Tomorrow, maybe I'll pick up the uh, solar panels tomorrow and start working on them. Uh, let's see, what else have I got to do? Really, that's about it. I've got to finish hooking up that battery isolation manager. And then all the 12 volt, looks like that should take care of it. I've got a few extension cords running around in here and then it's mostly just 12 volt. And then the van will be just about done. It'll be done electrically. Then I've got some plumbing to do. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside and open up the rest of the batteries. Kind of mess around with those a little bit. Maybe put a video up on that. Have a great day.